What's the deal, y'all? You know what I'm saying? I got my first interview. You feel me? Yeah. I got my boy, AD. I'm a co I'm a co-host, girl. Yeah. I'm your co-host, nigga. I got my boy, yeah, TF, here. You know what I'm saying? Leon. Yes, sir. And what we going to call this shit today is no filter. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here with my boy, TF, a real 50 legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of my childhood friends. I would He's be my friend, to too. Oh, yeah? He's, yeah. He's my homie, too. You know what I'm saying? All homies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, we grew right. up together, you know what I'm saying? I would I wouldn't want no other person, you know what I'm saying, to do this interview first with when one of my homies, you know what I'm saying, very underrated young man, mm -hmm. you feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. Very unappreciated in the rap game. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna teach y'all something about my boy right now today. You feel me? My boy TF, you know what I'm saying? Let him know what's up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you already know what I'm starting off with. <laughs> Delio! Delio! <laughs> Everything yeah. scandalous. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tell them about yourself. Let me see what's going on. Man, come on, man. You know, I'm from South Central. I'm right here. Where it's at. You feel me? Everything scandalous. You know, nigga, run with that. Nigga, and that's going to be that. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm right out the 50s. Where you at? Yeah, you feel, you feel me? me? The you know homie different now, cuz. Yeah, he getting money. You got, see him leaning back? He leaning back. Hey, yeah, His he response is like real rapper <laughs> shit, cuz. Yeah, real shit. Bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since you're real, you know what I'm saying? Your, your responses is real rap. You know what I'm saying? I want to get into my first question right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? I just really wanted to ask you. I've been wanting to ask you this for a long time. Why the fuck you didn't put that song out, you know what I'm saying, with me and you wanted? Cause, Cause you, you wasted was, my time. You was trash, nigga. T.F., T.F., nah. T. No, nah, 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 he was the first with my boy, and hey, my nigga did not put shit? it out. You had to write his shit? Nah, look, let me tell you, let me tell you, right? <laughs> I'm the one who was really pushing him to keep rapping. You okay, feel me? yeah. You feel me? I, I had to force the nigga to come to the lab. We get to the lab, boom. You know, uh... Matter of fact, we just talked about that album earlier. That's the album that's coming. Oh, so you put me on that? Yeah, that's that's still in the oh, works. Oh, yes, that's still sir. in the works. Yes, I think sir. I think bro should should, should get back into it. Nah, real. Because yeah, he wasn't nah, for real. Bro actually was was decent. Yeah, nah, he nice. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, nice. I mean, he I mean, silk the shockers. <laughs> 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 Silk, hey, Silk, when I, Silk used to be my favorite rapper nah, as a yeah. kid. You yeah. feel me? But not nah, like, like yeah, but when you when you hear the song, it's like. Yeah, he, he, I, I kept telling him, like, bro, you got to keep busting. Yeah, I mean, that For shit, real. like, what, two years? That shit, Three like, years? like two, two and a half years. That yeah. shit come out this Damn, year. That shit, 2022. I, I got to read, I got to read yeah, this. It was, it, was a bunch, it was a bunch of, you know, yeah. you know, a bunch of little stuff in, in between all that and all that. But, yeah, everything's smoothed out now. But, yeah, you man, tell them about yourself, man, where you grew up, where you from, you know what I'm saying, from a little kid to now. What you got? Let me see. Shit, I, I initially, a nigga was born in Sacramento, feel me? I was born in Sacramento. I was always back and forth out here, you know, from L.A. to back out there up north. My pops were like a full-blood Indian. You feel me? Oh, so you really not from the 50s. You from Sacramento. No, I'm, 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 I'm from the killers. You feel me? I, 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 but a nigga was born out there. Explain to me what the killer is. The killer, man, that's right there where it's really everything scandalous. Like, it's like the definition of that is what it means. You feel me? Like, now that's why I, I put that on the end of every verse. Yeah. I'm killing every verse. You feel me? Killers. That's why I like you though, bro. Yeah. Cause you say you always say everything's scandalous. And where I come from, we say we call our shit Atlanta the scandalous. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, I like this nigga, man. Yeah, yeah man. Everything yeah, everything's is scandalous, scandalous, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, yeah. you got Kansas on your back. Kansas on my back and scandalous on my back. I've been I mean, carrying Kansas for a minute. Then before I got it tatted. So, you know, I've been having that on my back for the next, since we was kids. You feel me? And then I, you, you, a, a bunch of, you know, a so bunch from of Sacra So from Sacramento on to the 50s, when did you, like, actually, like, nah, be permanent, to, like, I'm from the 50s and this is what I'm doing? I was, grew up in the other side, really. I grew up on Vernon and mother, like, Vernon and... 42nd. So you were enemy. I went to, oh, I went killer, to, I we going to have to get this nigga, right, cuz. So I went to, from I went to New York. Nah, I ain't, I ain't really, I ain't from Sacramento. I just, that's where I just fell out. I just fell out in Sacramento. You feel me? Okay. And then they just bowled me down to the killer. He's like, it was weird. And then, uh, but yeah, I grew up, uh, right there. Like fifth grade, I moved to the land. And it's been over since then. And then I spent, I spent probably like, 
but like the whole my whole elementary and junior high in Watts. So I was living in Watts. I was living on the Nigga, killer what school. Still. You went to in Watts? Gompers. Oh, Gompers is a terrible school. Yeah. So you really everything scam. That's scam. Nah, I, I I got kicked out. The only reason I probably would have been from Watts, yeah. but I got kicked out because I kicked off a riot. I kicked <laughs> off a riot at Gompers with the South Lows. Oh, you really with the shit? Yeah, they kicked me out the district. Kicked me out the district, so now I couldn't even. Cause really, you, Bang was living on the east side. Bang really, really east side, baby. Yeah. Tiny Bang. So I was spending the night at his spot every, like I was going to school with him, but I was still living on the killer. And I was just, we'd just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, uh, like my eighth grade year, I got kicked out the district for that. And then, shit, I went to John Muir. Then it was over. So once you got the John Muir, you know what I'm saying? You like, you know what? This another is another bad doing. school. You know what I'm saying another yeah, terrible nah, right. school. John Muir, like you know it's five different whole things right there. When did you decide, you know what, I'm finna just be from trouble? Because Flurs was lit. Yeah. Flurs was too lit. The homies was like, <laughs> yeah, man, y'all doing too much. Yeah, y'all doing too much. Man, man tell them about man how the fifties is kind of like a you know, kind of like a family oriented, like hood, like a set, you feel me? Like everything ain't always like, I mean, it is a killer. It is everything <clears throat> scandalous, but overall, you feel me? Like, I feel like the majority of how we grew up, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It was way more positive than negative. Nah, yeah, for real. Uh, we, before, before, all, before all that, like I said, we was all pushing that flirt shit. Like we had just all busting all the bras. Family, we going from school to school, cracking all the bras and all that. You know, we was from sports. We was playing ball. Yeah. Family, we was just gang thick. So we pulling up at all the things, you know. Then we start striking up on walls and it was over with. But other than that, everybody that's from the land, they got family in the land. You feel me? Like, like him and his brother, me, Bang, my little brother, like my whole family from where I'm at. Feel me, his whole family from where we at. Like, so now it's like, it got to the point where it's like, man, it's like where you came from. Like, we don't even. Yeah, who, it, it, who wasn't, no, it wasn't no outsiders. Yeah, you know like, who was your peoples? On. Like, who was your peoples? And it wasn't, like, so we all grew up together and then everybody just started doing their own thing, you know, and, you know, and then shit. Niggas just start busting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. Once you start doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, what brought you to that role where you like, you know what? I'm going to really do some stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I just really want to bring this shit up. I'm going right to the ghost though because my boy really is crazy before we get on the music tip. You know what I'm saying? I want to know why my boy robbed the bank. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what the fuck was going on in your head? You know what I'm saying? Press the button. Doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, like, he didn't do it. Like, <laughs> TF didn't do it. Girl. <laughs> he didn't do it. Like, bro, you in the house. You just like, you know what? Let's rob that bank. Nah, I mean, Stupid. one of the homies bring it up, and at the time we, I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's go. I mean, we out here. I'm out here doing everything else. Like, like, so I was just thinking, like, man, if I'm out here doing this, I, I might not never come home doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I could go hit this bank and be out in a few <laughs> and get have some chili, like waiting on me coming back. But you know, it didn't go like that. I ended up going down high speed chases and all that, you know. And you went down. You went to prison. Uh, nah, I didn't go to prison, but I got tried as an adult. I did like a year in the county at, when I was like 15, 16. Damn, how did yeah. that go, man, being a minor and out there with all the fucking crazy ass, dope buff ass niggas in that motherfucker? Nah, they have you, uh, juvenile lockdown. Juvenile mm -hmm. lockdown, you got like 23, 23 hours, 23 hours down, and then you get like an hour out to shower and use the phone and all that type. But yeah, like, it was really tricky in there, like the t top tier, like probably like this big, probably yeah. like this big. So on your way to the shower, you got to go past probably 12 different cells before you get to the shower and use the phone. So if somebody tripping, they're going to get at you. You a real one, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, so in the rap game, niggas be like, man, I'm a real one. I did this, I did that, you know what I'm saying? Especially in Los Angeles, California, man. Did you ever encounter any of these niggas, you know what I'm saying, in the county or the pen that's rapping right now? Uh, Go ahead and say AD or Mark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <Yeah. laughs> 
No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's, 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 uh, it's, I ain't, ain't going to lie. I ran, I ran to a few peoples. I ran to a few peoples. And if, if I didn't, I ran to some peoples who they good peoples and they like, yeah, they solid. Who you, you ran up and who you ran into? I ain't gonna put nobody out there like that. Man, nigga, so, who you run into in that motherfucker, bro? Oh, matter, matter of fact, it's my boy Doughboy, man. My boy yeah. Doughboy, right? So yeah. I run into him on the yard. We on the four yard. Four yard, this years down the line after that county jail shit. So yeah, we on the four yard, I run into him. And uh, he thought I was a blood. So he think I'm a blood, cause you know I got a gang of red ink tatted. Yeah. So I'm out, we out busting. We busting down on the yard. I'm with all the Blackstones. You feel me? So clearly, he all automatically thought I was one of them. So I'm like, he like, oh, what's up, whoop? I'm like, man, this crib. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? He like, oh, man, my bad, whoop de wah wah wah. But after that, like, we was cool. Bust down every day until the nigga got shipped out. I ended up going to Oklahoma after that. Shipped me, they con aired me up out of there. Chained up. <laughs> feel yeah. me? Chain me up. Get me up out of there. So, but, uh, when I got out, I ended up running into my boy uh, Polly Rob. Polly Rob, family child, Polly Rob too, local astronaut. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, I run into him, and we end up doing some music. Like a few years later, like down the line, like me and him already got a good relationship. I run into Doughboy. I'm like, bro, it's like, hey, what's up, man? How long you been out? When you you know what you're doing up here. He like, so what age did you like really like start rapping? You feel me? And then start taking it serious. Shit, when I went down. When you went down, what? what 16? Nah, 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 nah. Shout out to Party nah, Rob too, man. Yeah. yeah, I was still tripping. I was still tripping at 16. I was still, nah. I didn't really stop tripping until I was 28. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You like, feel me? But that was, after, yeah. that was after like two other terms and stuff like that. But by yeah. then, I was really rapping, rapping by then. But uh, that's when I had to like really just kick back. But uh, but yeah, that's how. So back to the Polly Rob thing. I'm working with Polly Rob, and they get to what you're asking. Mm -hmm. They get to what you're asking because I'm like, damn. So I'm with Polly Rob, and the nigga Doughboy walk in. So I'm like, damn, I ain't seen you since we was on the yard. Like, what you like? What you doing up here? He like, nigga, this is my best friend. Talking about Polly Rob. So I'm like, damn, and. Shit, we've been we've been rocking together since then. That was in probably like 2015, 2015. Uh, I ran back in the dope. Nah, not that late. Probably 2014. Oh yeah, probably 2014, 15. I ran back in the dope boy. But like I said, when I met him, I was in the pen. You know. So then, uh, in there, that's when I start rapping. Off my last term, I was just I was just rapping, 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 rapping. But connecting with other gang members, you know what I'm saying? Was that like your first indication to where you was just thinking about, you know what, this gang banging shit, you know what I'm saying, ain't gonna really take me far. You feel me? I really got to connect with the world, you know what I'm saying, to be able to to do this shit. Nah, to be to be honest, in there I connected with all the enemies first. Yeah. You feel me? Cause in, in that you know in the county you get there and everybody want to pack shit out. Mm hmm. I'm telling niggas, like, I'm like, nah, y'all, get that nigga's head up. Yeah. Niggas was mad. Like, no, nah, man, we, let's pack him out. I'm like, nah. I'm, like, nigga, if you ride with me, I need, to, I, need, I need to make sure that you could be able to, you feel me? Like, we both could get up out of this if it get ugly. Yeah. So if you can't fight just one motherfucker, it's like, I don't even really trust you like that to be behind me. Yeah. You know, so, and, 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 and people's from the other side they respected that and it was like you know and that that traveled way longer than just being a a, a nigga where i'm at mm -hmm. and where i'm from you know because like everybody gonna love you already if you're doing what you're doing already but if you could transition and, and still keep it trill on the back end you know when it's ugly ugly when you ain't got none of the the utensils you really using out in the streets and you still keep it solid like that, like, yeah, they gonna respect that and they gonna love it. And I mean, I, I'm glad you're saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, if y'all don't know, man, these trouble niggas is UFC niggas, they karate, <laughs> 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 they do karate, you know what I'm saying? They do gymnastics. These oh, niggas is wild, you know what I'm saying? They take fighting serious as nah, a motherfucker, they boxing. So I know if you niggas ever got head up, y'all probably got your ass whooped, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. RIP my nigga Gabe, cause he was that nigga too, you know what I'm saying? Doing that shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, man, T.I.P. Punch, man. 
Yeah, you know what I'm uh, saying? I got a bro, I got a I got a video of me and Punch boxing. Like it was boxing like like probably two and a half, three minutes probably. Just. That nigga Adam always bringing up, you know what I'm saying? He always but, bring him up. A game yeah. and punch, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But did Punch really like uh, Adam? <laughs> I mean, I didn't nah, think he, uh, he, he, he was a boy. Yeah, he brought him up a few times. He brought him up a few times. Uh, yeah. But uh, I, was, I was like, I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Yeah, because he was doing his thing. He was bike riding. He was doing all the whole little shit. And I really didn't know what Cub was Tom doing and shit. And yeah. That was, was, was a minute ago, though, when he, when he, when he, when he, when he used to be talking about dude. Because like, uh, I was, you know, I had Gabe in the studio, too. I had Punch in the studio too, rapping. He on my he on my first album I dropped. Everything scandalous. He on that. That's crazy that that nigga Punch was fucking with Adam, and then now that we here, you know what I'm saying? And I'm actually talking to you, you know, on that nigga platform. That's the sickest shit on earth. You know what I'm saying? And I always think about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm real big on spirits and shit like that. Like niggas is watching over us and doing the whole. Bro, thing. everything come together, bro. Yeah, on I, I literally I literally <clears throat> forgot too, like about. The Arby shit came from you. You didn't even know that. Damn. Oh, on tour. On tour. You told me that shit. You I didn't want to Arby's. I didn't want to. No, you clown. You clown my manager. Look at TFK. <laughs> you clown my manager, and yeah. you fried him so hard. I was like, I ain't gonna tell this nigga T Real. Like, eat that shit. But that shit got the. You know what I'm saying? That shit going. So like, the so tie you been, you and been, everything. You've been, you been, you been, you been eating Arby's for a month. Nigga, for since, a I decade. Was, since I was one, two. What you was eating that too? Uh, from Arby. <laughs> <laughs> the homies just asked me like, bro, where are Arby's at? Well, the real, like, let me get the nigga, Arby's meal. Where nigga, the look, fuck look, is look, Arby's look. at? Nigga, look, I'm from Compton, cuz, so, <clears throat> nigga, we go, you know, we ain't got no mall, cuz. So we'll go to the Lakewood Mall, nigga. It's a, it's a, it's an Arby's right by the Lakewood Mall, you feel me? Grandma used to take me over there, we used to, we used to just fuck that shit up. Did she take you over there because they had a dollar menu, cuz? <laughs> no, nigga, they had no dollar menu. <laughs> nigga, you know, nigga, nigga, nigga really liked the roast beefs. Damn, you cold, bro. You like it too, cuz you said no, it. No, it was cool. You bought All it. I right. fuck with it. I mean, I wouldn't push up, but if I if bro, you gave I seen, it to me, I, I fuck you with bring it. Bring the the sparklers with the Arby's <laughs> the other day, dude. You, that, yeah, it's hard. getting out of hand, hey, man. Hey, they hit me up because oh, of yeah. that. You feel me? They hit you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I told you if they give you a deal, I'ma eat that shit for a week, yeah, nigga. Oh God in heaven, you know what I'm saying? But man, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back. I'm gonna bring you up a sandwich, that's man. How you, that's how you didn't gain that little twenty pounds, huh? On the low, yeah. in that Arby's. But let's get more. Let's get people more in touch with you, man. Because you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you unappreciated. You know what I'm saying. You underground. A lot of people need to know more about you. You know what I'm saying. We are gonna yeah. use this platform for niggas to know. You feel me? Because you've been doing your thing musically. All and you respect it all around in the industry for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, you Grammy nominated. Let's what? just get the oh, yeah. just just get that out of the way. Know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Grammy yes, nominated. sir. You you Grammy on, nominated on some crib shit though. Yeah, on some crib yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? On Schoolboy Q. You know what I'm saying? Tookie knows. Tookie knows. My nigga that was video, on that, that album. Video crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was on that album. He be doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out so, to traffic too, man. Yeah. yeah. Shout out my dog traffic, man. Why you think you ain't getting the exposure? You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be getting out here. You Cause your you bitch ass take forever to give him an interview, nigga. <laughs> That's <laughs> why, I, nigga. I just got on this. <laughs> you you motherfucking took forever to put me you on the fucking you. platform. <laughs> You nah, feel but, me uh, damn. I don't I don't I don't look I don't look at it as 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 it's, it took forever. Like it's you know, it's perfect timing, you know, like cause right now where I'm at, what I'm doing right now, like my mindset different. Like, you feel me? When I first started rapping, I was I was still on I was still in the streets. Yeah. You feel me? I didn't even really care about rapping. Like I was I'm still with the homies, we slime through. Like I remember people used to tell me, Hey Tia, pull up to this rap event, pull up to this, pull up to this, but don't bring them, don't bring them. And I'm like, man, fuck all that. I'm bringing the homies. Yeah. You feel me? I'm bringing the homies. And it got to the point where it was just like, like, damn, I start realizing once once they start going to jail, they start working out. I don't want to say, like, you know, it, it kind of happened, like, how it happened. But I wasn't going to never tell them not to come. Yeah, they couldn't come. You feel me? You can't tell the homies. I wasn't going to never do that. Yeah. You know, just me being who I am. But they just all end up going to jail. And then it just start working out and start working out. I start pulling up Dolo. I'm pulling up Dolo. I'm meeting different peoples. And then uh, at the same time, I was still like kind of like straddling the fence with the street shit. So uh, it was just one event. I ain't rapped in probably like six months. I'm just doing what I was doing, like, you know, busting my little moves and shit. So uh, I'm like, damn, I'm finna go to the lab. Bro, I go to the studio. 
I get a call like six in the morning. I stayed there all night too from like probably like eight to like, till I got the call. Like I got the call like six in the morning. <clears throat> they like, man, they just raided the house. Took everybody. And I'm like, damn. Like, and I got, you feel me? My, my situation a little different from everybody. So if I get caught, I'm going down. Yeah. You feel me? So they can find this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that, but I ain't there, so it's like. If that ain't signed, I don't know what it is. Nah, for real, like, you know, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, you, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm in the studio, all this happened. I'm like, damn. I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna start rapping. Cause I was already rapping, but I really wasn't like taking that shit serious. And then once nigga Spot got raided, I came back and the whole, Bro, the door was like from from this little piece right here to this corner. That's how they snatched the door off. They snatched off the door and then more pieces, like a whole another foot outside of the bars. On from the top to the bottom to the sides. They yanked everything off. So it was like a whole walkway, like the size of this table. And I walked, I got home and was like, damn, they really yanked the walls off this motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, I'm staying in the studio. Kept rhyming, kept rhyming, then boom, squabble up hit. Yeah. And we did squabble up. Then that hit, and then that got the, you know, AD was on that album, that first, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, shout out Adrian Swiss too, man. Shout out Adrian Swiss. Yeah. Yep. Adrian yeah. Swiss, yeah. man. Tom, tap me in on that, uh, the first, that, that Bloods and Crip album. I forgot which, uh, which edition it was, but one of them joints with the squabble up on it. And, uh, off that, G Perico reached out. And then we tapped <sighs> in. Bro, that, then, to me, that's then, the best verse, bro, you ever did. You went yeah. crazy on that motherfucker. Yeah, I do that on every one. <laughs> Nigga went crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go crazy. That went crazy. Yeah. So just from, from that point, once I was like, damn, like, like I can't I can't do it. I can't do it because I'm going to be gone, gone. You feel me? Like, and if it ain't gone, gone, I'm going to still be, I'm going to have a little stretch for sure. So I just kicked back on everything and just kept rapping. Yeah, like my boy AD was saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we from the 50s. Like, I seen your demeanor change. I seen a lot of my demeanor change, too, because I really was, like, scandalous. Like, he be calling me grimy. Grimy! <laughs> like, I really, you know what I'm saying, didn't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying, until yeah. I kind of got in the music industry and I kind of seen how it was moving and what we was doing and, like, working, you know what I'm saying, take you. So I know for sure, like, I know you got a different perspective on shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You... Like how you feel about doing like records with enemies and shit? Uh, That's I got cool. I got I got, a, I got a few records with uh I got a record with my boy from uh from sixties, my boy uh Dota Fresh Kid. Yeah, feel me? He from uh he from six zero and you feel me? It's and it's crazy because when I met him initially, same thing happened when I ran into Doughboy. So I get to the studio. This is my first time meeting him too. Get to the <coughs> studio and uh. I run into my boy Wee Dog from '60s. I was on the yard with. Yeah. And we had some. We had a whole situation in there, like on some. You feel me? But I, when I seen him, it was respect because it was, it was respect when it happened. Like it was like, nah, we gonna get it right. Y'all do it like this. It's just y'all too. Y'all go do that, and that's that, and kept it like that. You know. But niggas was ready to rock, and niggas seen that, and then you know that shit just transpired and spilled into the streets. And when I ran into him, it was love. And he like, oh, dope. Like, yeah, he's solid, for sure. Like, you know, and it was vice versa. So you was a fan of MC? Uh, his later music. His later music, not really when he was... I was in a pen when niggas was listening to, to Nipsey. Yeah. So I'm hearing that, I'm like... I'm you know, like, man, y'all finna kick something up. <laughs> I know, because, yeah, I mean... he on there talking... He was talking crazy when he first fell in, you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm yeah, like, yeah. I ain't listening to that shit. But then once... Uh, you know, like I was hearing his growth, and at the same time, I was that was when I was coming in, like so I'm listening, and listening. But I was, I'd always listen, but I never really wasn't a fan until uh, that K Camp track he dropped. I think it was Mailbox Money. Yeah, like that was the one. I'm like, that's a banger. And then from there, I listened to a few more records and a few more records, and then by then, I'm listening to Victory laughing. I'm like, this nigga dope. But by then he did a whole, you know, he did a whole big 360 with his music and like who he was with his community and all that. He was, you know, he was dope. 
Yeah, that's what I was going to get to. You know what I'm saying? He did his whole little thing and he transitioned. You know what I'm saying? And he was willing to do, uh, you know, some certain little things. And he was business minded, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur. And he yeah. was doing shit for his city. Like, he was doing shit for his community. Like, and that's how we all got to be. Like, and that's why I feel like music should take you you know what i'm saying it should transition you into that you know what i'm saying like uh but some some artists it don't and i feel like you know what i'm saying like i said you be unappreciated because you i don't think you ain't out there giving the gimmicks and doing all the bullshit you know what i'm saying you got the homies behind you dissing the set and all the whole you know what i'm saying bullshit so how you feel about like niggas like c mac with they with the, the set dissed on their head and then like uh like a baby stone gorillas are saying you know what i'm saying fuck crabs and all the whole little shit in their Ooh. music like how you think you know what i'm saying like how what like what words you got for them you know what i'm saying i mean uh i i, I know them i know them baby stone niggas you know that's that's just they thing you feel me like you know they they really they really that yeah you feel me they really that like if you see them it's like it's, it's really what they be talking about, you feel me? But the other, I, <laughs> the other nigga, he just yeah, man, that nigga's a clown, man. You feel me? Like that nigga's a, that nigga's a clown. That's that's all I really got to say about that. <laughs> yeah, how you feel like that? Yeah. all the homies just be kind of like trying to you know <laughs> pushing it off. Like I mean, I think uh, if it's a little rocker or something, he might be kind of slow. You know what I'm saying? But I be yeah. feeling like you know what I'm saying. You you a real rapper, cause you feel what I feel like in Los Angeles, you kind of like got to tie the bullshit in. You know what I'm saying? And you not like kind of you that ain't your whole little thing. You know what I'm saying? You real creative with your rap, your videos. You know what I'm saying? You be doing your thing, you feel me? Like, and you be directing your own videos or, you know what I'm saying, 50-50 yeah. with your people, you know what I'm saying? Like, where that inspiration come from? Man, I'm, shit, just really just watching movies, really. Just watching movies and uh, I spent I spent maybe eight, eight, nine years down. Not all together, but like, I spent probably eight years in jail my whole life. So a lot of that time, I ain't had nothing but to do but think. I ain't had nothing to do but think. So, you know, I was always trying to create, like, different scenarios. And, like, damn, if I could do this, I'm going to really try to do this. You know, like, because I didn't watch enough movies. Everybody, you didn't, I'm pretty sure everybody didn't watch mad movies. But, like, if you, can't, if you can't take something from it and try to paint a picture of your own story in it, and it's like, that's what I try to do. I just try to I try to take something from it and and utilize it and put a twist on it and keep it scandalous, you know, without doing the, you know, dissing everybody. And I mean, I we we I came in with that. I ain't gonna lie, I came in with that. <laughs> I was about to say this nigga lying. <laughs> he ain't lying like a motherfucker. This nigga lying. I heard some shit. <laughs> My nigga trying to keep it all super political, know, bitch. You dissing uh, niggas, man. Uh, yeah, I, I came, I came in, I came in with the bull, yeah. But you know, everything is scandalous. I, you know, yeah. I, I shook, I shook that, and then I got creative with it, though. So, but uh, but, but yeah. I think a lot of your songs, you know, what I'm saying that you got the ghetto and you glamorizing the, where we from and what we doing, or you know, you know, what I'm saying the ghetto period. I mean, a lot of your songs like that, they blow. You feel me, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My boy, shout out my boy Tien, you know what I'm saying? And there and there crit walking, that shit went viral. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, that's that that's that real player in the game, man. That shit yeah. went, uh I went to but at the same time with that, I had I had niggas from six O on the killer. Yeah. I went to the forties and shot a piece of that video in the forties. I went to had niggas from six O on the killer. Like I went to probably like four sets in Compton. You feel me? I was I really went to every yeah. I went to every spot that was like solid, like mm -hmm. where I knew people from. I'm like, bro, I'm calling, like, bro, pull up, it's good. You feel me? The homies right there. Oh, what's up? They shaking hands with niggas from six. So, I had, I had, uh, I had a few, uh, few peoples from from Hoover in the in the Broadways with the, in the eleven deuces and all that. So it was kind of like everybody was like, damn, like you really was able to bring people in and get, you know, niggas tapping in and linking up and networking and all that, like, you know? Yeah. Instagramming and doing all that, so it's like, damn. Like, so I kind of looked at it like, man, I'm, I'm going to try it, fuck it. Like, I'm going to try it. Like, I didn't know if that shit was going to work or not. Man, tell me the first time, you know what I'm saying, you encountered, you know, well, tell me the first time, man, Q hit you, you know what I'm saying, it was like, you know what, hop on this song, nigga. Did you feel like you, you was that nigga when he hit you? 
I felt like I was that <clears throat> nigga when I when I first seen him when I was fresh out. He was shooting uh Break the Bank. Mm -hmm. I was I had dropped uh Red Zone. Yeah. I dropped Red Zone some little bullshit freestyle like I did, but that's when I was first I first came home and everybody was like, "Bro, you ain't rapping, nigga. You don't even talk. How you rapping?" <laughs> I'm like, "All right." Yeah. Boom, ran that. And then uh, I did a few more other little tracks and shit. Uh and then I ran the queue. Went to the video shoot, and he was shooting at Break the Bank. And uh, he was like, bro, like, man, I've been hearing your shit, man. You've been doing it up, this and that, and this and that. This was in probably 2013. So uh, I just kept doing all that. And then that's, I, I did the Squabble Up shit. Then I did the, the Bout It track with Perico. You know, so up until me running back in the queue years later, he was like, bro, come to the house. Like I seen him at uh, the video. We went to it was it happened at a video shoot again. Me and uh me and one of the homies, we went to the video shoot with him and Ferg. What's the name of that shit? I forgot, but yeah, him and Ferg, we up there. He like, yeah, man, come to the house. Like, we just gonna be chilling and shit, this and that. He didn't even we weren't even supposed to record. We were just going to the house. Yeah. He ended up putting a beat on. Put a beat on, I'm listening to it like, damn. He like, yeah, man, I need you to get on this. I'm like, for sure. That's went in, hard. Went in there. I didn't even write that shit. I just flooded out. You know, he did me the same way. He told me to come to the house. And you know what I'm saying? We just chilling. And he, he let me listen to y'all verse, but instead he didn't let me get on <laughs> <laughs> He said, your shit trash. It's dead. He didn't let me get on the fucking song. You try to get on Q-Track with the Tiger Blow. I know you. That nigga tried to <laughs> no. do that shit. Yes, you did. That nigga with said, nah, we ain't doing this shit. That nigga like, nigga. He like, nah, you know, he you like know. let me listen to this shit. He like, listen to this. I'm like, cool. I'm like, oh, this shit hard. I'm like, well, maybe he won't be on this shit. He like, that shit hard, honey. He like, you sit your bitch ass back down. <laughs> like, I know. What's, what's, what's crazy is... uh. He, he, he didn't tell us that initially. He just played the beat. He, yeah. He didn't tell us this initially. He played the beat, and uh, the shit ended up coming out dope. And then he told us after, like, after we listened to it, like, maybe, like, 300 times, he like, hey, look, to be honest, if y'all was trash, I already had Vince Staple verse ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kicked Vince Staple off the song for y'all. Yeah. That's cold, yeah. man. That's yeah. love. Shout out, shout out Groovy Q and all that. Shout out Vince Staples too and all that. But but yeah, yeah uh, but yeah, Vince Staples already had a verse on that, and he he was like, yeah, man, if y'all ain't if y'all ain't uh if y'all shit trash, nigga, like this what it is. I'm leaving yeah. him on there. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to be on that song so motherfucking bad. Right. He was like, yeah. bitch, you don't you don't take this shit serious. You remember your verse? I didn't have no verse, nigga. I was, <laughs> he was ready to rock. I was ready to get on that motherfucker. That nigga like, bitch, you he don't take like, this shit serious. Stop do. playing with me, man. Get your stupid ass up out of here, bro. That's crazy, bro. But yeah, uh, but yeah. after that, it was been lit since. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I, I mean, that shit, that shit did take you. I mean, I, it should have done a lot for your career once that shit dropped. You know what I'm saying? Y'all dropped a video that shit nominated for a Grammy because some people don't take those opportunities and run with them. You know what I'm saying? You got to run with those opportunities and make it the best. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking shit, but some niggas just don't give a fuck. You feel mm -hmm. me? You got to really give a fuck. And you been, you know what I'm saying? Your foot been on the gas this whole time. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, yeah. I, I, I took that and ran with it for sure. I took that and ran with it just seeing how, just even being... Like every show, I watched every show. I was never backstage. I watched every show and, and try yeah. to take something from every performer, every opener, every, like everybody we ran into. Like every city we went to, I'm leaving the venue. I'm on a little scooter thing. I'm sliding through. I'm tapping in with the peoples. I'm tapping in with Crips out there. I'm tapping in with Bloods out there. I'm, I'm still tapped in to everybody I met till, still to this day. Oh, when that nigga took you on tour. Yeah. 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 So just based off that, like every every opportunity I came across, like even if even if it was scandalous, I done got left in left, <laughs> left in some places yeah. and shit. And I'm like, well, fuck it. Like, yeah. Like it's either gonna get Oh, ugly. he left you. Nah, he ain't leave me, but I'm just saying, like. Cause you'll get your ass left on tour if you don't nah, wake up real. in time. He left for your real. ass off that verse. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. Fuck that nigga. I love you though, Q, but he That's did. Funny. 
Yeah, I probably wouldn't been to be on that motherfucker <laughs> still, but I don't know. You, you would have missed the video too. The video crazy. Man, f- I was in that video. You was? Yeah, you was. I yeah. was in the video oh, with Heather, stupid as fuck. Yeah, Look y'all, at y'all, y'all was in the stands. Like yeah. this. We was in court for the table. You was sick up. <laughs> yeah, I was you sick. You see TF out there got his own part. You over there like, fuck this nigga TF. TF! <laughs> Man, I'm saying I love my boy TF, cuz. Nah, but yeah, so yeah, I, I, uh, every opportunity I ran with, you know, I was tapping in with all the people's behind the scenes at the venues, all the runners and all that. I don't remember none of them niggas, but shit. At the time, you know, they was tapping in. Yeah. You know? So. I went on that tour too, you know what I'm saying? I pulled up, you know what I'm saying? On the tour bus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, on the real, we met y'all in Texas. Oh, God. On the real. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I'm finna go on this tour with all the homies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The homie knew a little company that had a little tour bus. We pulled up on that motherfucker. That shit was tight, nigga. Yeah, that shit that was shit dope. was tight as fuck. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, that's cool, man. Man, why you, you know what I'm saying? This shit crazy, dog. Now I gotta ask these damn questions. I forgot <laughs> what the fuck I was finna say. <laughs> like, it, being in the rap game, you know what I'm saying? You ever get like, frustrated with these niggas not like as far as producers and like rappers not answering their phone you know what i'm saying not giving you the verse and shit like that you ever press anybody uh yeah hell yeah like i be having i be <laughs> like it be it be not really no rappers i don't really i don't even really though like who, if you ever see anybody featured on my shit they gonna be featured on they gonna see them with me like you feel me like my nigga bell my nigga drebo yeah uh you feel me? You always gonna see, like it's. I don't really, other than the people when I tap in with, then it's like, hey, like I need a verse. I usually I get them shits right back. Like, but uh, other than that, like probably videos, mixing, uh, deadlines. Uh, like it'd be the technical shit that I like the shit that I really can't even control. You know, to where it's like, damn, I, I wish I knew how to edit my own shit, man. Yeah, I had this shit out right now, the next day. You feel me? Like, bro, this all you, this what you do. Gotta learn how to do this shit. Like, this what you do. Like, nigga, knock that shit out. Like, man, how you feel about, nigga, these uh, rappers and shit? Like, nigga, with they one foot in, one foot out, you know what I'm saying? The rap game and this shit happening to, like, Draco and Young Dolph niggas getting killed over this shit. Like, rap has really become, nigga, one of the, like, the craziest, Not, nigga, worst things like that, to do, though. nigga. To, to be honest, it's, uh, when I felt, when I first fell in, my first interview, like the like they asked me like what's everything scandalous? You feel me? And now now niggas see like what everything scandalous is. It's like like you could be chilling, you could be trying to do like dude got smoked at a concert. You feel me? Yeah. Like He didn't even get smoked. He got stabbed. I mean that's a jail term so we get smoked. Yeah. But that's crazy, dog. But you feel me? Like like that happened at you know where they was working at. You feel me? But at the same time it's like if you out here talking that, if you talking what you talking, you it gotta be that. Oh God, if, if 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 it's that, it it gotta be that. You know, so uh, yeah, I stay I stay out of that type of shit. You feel me? Cause I'm uh I really get into that type of shit. So I just stay out of that type of shit. Nah, yeah, cause if niggas really get into it, we don't. I I be telling niggas like, bro, my homies like. We be chill, but I think if I think when niggas really start going up and like really start getting into it, like niggas won't stop. Yeah, and I'm like these niggas is gonna go to jail. Like they willing to risk the life soon as it turn on. Like and I'm like man, I ain't going nowhere with these niggas. I ain't going nowhere with my homies, man. This shit burnt out. You know yeah, what I mean? nah, for real. Cause that like that's how it was when when I was first rapping. Like niggas didn't want niggas around. Yeah, they didn't give a fuck how dope I was. Oh God, they like nigga, you still tripping? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you ain't rapping. Like you still I, I think that's why you know Adam, you know, be <clears throat> asking me, well, where, "Where your homies at?" I know a lot of motherfuckers be like, "Hey, where your homies at?" And I'm like, "I ain't bringing them niggas up here yet." <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, I'm saying, it's it took me gotta, a while. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta we gotta one, sprinkle niggas. Yeah, you gotta bring one nigga. Let them see it, like, hey man. <laughs> so it get back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hold on, this how you act, nigga. You feel me? Like, you can't be acting crazy and doing all of this bullshit. You feel me? Yeah. So that, yeah, that that took a minute for me to get out of that, but. You know, like now seeing what it is now, it's like, you know, especially with social media, you gonna see every you gonna see everything that you wasn't seeing when it was really lit. Like Yeah. Like when 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 niggas was really gang banging. You feel me? Like it's kinda it's still kinda watered down, but it's mm-hmm. you know, it's still kinda watered down, but it's like you can see it now and it's just like 
damn, like, oh, they got robbed? Like, oh, my God, they got robbed. I'm like, they got robbed, so what? Like, That's what I tell my girl. She's like, there's so many people getting robbed. I'm like, nigga, this, I like, live here. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like this shit been know, going on. We used to rob we shit know. for breakfast. Bruh. Like, we known for that shit in L.A. That's why they oh, moved man. all the fucking award shows and everything. The first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on every Back in the day. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't nothing new. The only difference is now is white people get robbed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas going to Beverly Hills. Niggas was doing shit like that. Yeah, niggas get robbed scared. on ring camps. That's now. what I'm it's saying. Like, that's everything scandalous for sure. <laughs> that's like, for sure. sure. And because you got to think, like, as, as a crook, you looking at it like, I'm looking at this camera right here. Hey, man, give me all this shit. Not giving a fuck. Yeah, I'm still seeing this. Like, that's... Like, that's how it's going right now. Niggas is just like, I'm like, yeah, everything's scandalous, man. Shout out to y'all. Man, man, how that shit was? Chili. How that shit be? How was it, you know what I'm saying? Being around all that TD shit, TD shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit is high power. No, over it's, there. it's, it's definitely high power. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I, was, when I was on tour, I watched every show. I watched every show. You feel me? Uh, like, really, Joey Badass. Like, he was, that nigga. Like, he really dope, dope, dope as a performer. You mm -hmm. feel me? So, you know, just seeing him on stage, seeing Q on stage every night, it was like, I'm like, damn. But then outside of that, I'm seeing how they doing with the merch. Yeah. You feel me? I'm seeing how they doing with the merch, and that's going, I'm like, bro, like. Fuck like, the merch, the meet and greets. The meet and greets. You the, know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to know how to get your chili nigga on tour. You know what I'm saying? So, Why you, you know what I'm saying? Why you out there? Yeah, so, you know, coming back as, a, as an independent artist, I'm like, bro, like, shit. What did they sell them shirts at? All right, for sure. Let me press something up. Really, to be honest, my first, my first piece of merch I ever dropped, nigga, I dropped one piece. Like, nigga, I didn't know how the fuck I was going to pay the rent, like, come, the next coming up week. I'm like, damn. I'm like, fuck it. I got this. I got this. I got this logo. Like, man, let me see how I'm going to work this shit. Yeah. Like, I pressed up one piece. Shout out my boy Rallo, too, man. He had me, we was busting down in the in the living room, going crazy. Like, crazy, crazy, crazy. That We was going crazy. Like, I put together probably 100 pieces pressed up. Like, yeah. in like two hours. So right now, I feel like what you're doing, you feel me? You're doing a good thing. Like, you're building, like, leverage. You feel me? So when you walk into, little, like, those record companies or record labels, whenever you feel like it, because I don't know what your situation is right now, but whenever you get in there, I feel like you got kind of leverage, you feel me? Because you, you know what I'm saying, you're building your brand, you're selling merch, you know what I'm saying, you're building everything, scandals, you feel me? Like, so, you know what I'm saying, you ready for that shit, you feel me? Like, how's that shit doing for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, building your brand. Uh, I feel, I feel like everybody... Everybody's familiar with the brand right now, you know, like everybody that's been seeing me do my shit, you know, over the years, it's like they know, like when they see me, it's Deleon or yeah. it's everything scandalous, you know, and that's that's from here to New York to Florida to wherever you see me at, like I'm recognized as everything scandalous or Deleon and then it's, oh, what's up, TF? You know, they not like, oh, shit, TF, they like, everything scandalous, they yell that shit out and I'm looking around like, all right, for sure, so... I think it's dope because De Leon is a whole nother meaning. That's a whole nother thing. I don't know whole... what I mean. I just want to say it to you. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it you G. from the set. <laughs> Basically. Like, yeah. But, but the dopest, the dopest, the dopest shit to me is when I ran into my boy from 6 0 and that nigga said it. Oh. You feel me? That nigga sick. was like, De Leon. I was just like, damn. Shit sick. You feel me? And then that's when I'm, I'm like, all right, for sure. Yeah, this yeah. shit's sick, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, but, uh, but yeah, so as far as building a brand, you know, that's why uh, I try to keep my, I try to hold myself to that same standard to where it's like, like, you know, for a minute I wasn't trying to get fresh. I'm like, man, I'm keeping my shit scandalous, man. I'm only pulling up with hoodies and black forces, nigga. Like, you nah, feel me? Nah, hell no. Nah. Like, but that was me, though, you feel me? That, yeah. But that's what... It got to the point where it was like, man, I'm getting tagged in every Black Forces post, nigga, all the <laughs> shit. So I'm like, all right, for sure, they they caught on, like it's scandalous. And and then from there, I kind of ran with it. And then once you know, everybody got the gist of the shit. So now it's like, all right, they feeling it. Yeah. So you know, then now it's time to come with the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Being a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Even though this ain't your damn interview, I want this a question for both y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Balancing rapping, you know what I'm saying, and family life, man, how 
hard is that because temptation is like on another level out here especially with social media you know what i'm saying on an all-time high they go ahead he looked at me <laughs> <laughs> you first motherfucker come on man yeah hold on right, so come look, on let me, let me tell you about i got a story right Wiz and fucking so we on tour right <laughs> so we on tour i don't know how uh I don't know how she got my motherfucking password to my Snapchat, but I was in, I had two, I had two motherfucking Puerto Rican Colombian joints or something, right? Going crazy? They wasn't even going crazy. <laughs> hey, they wasn't even going crazy, but you, I mean, she, it's, yeah, it was about to get crazy, but it just looked like that. You feel me? It wasn't even that, but it just looked like that. So, yeah, bro, she deleted my whole Instagram. They all seeing that shit. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, this is. I at remember the that. Yeah, remember, yeah. And you was like, follow me in my <laughs> other shit. So that's what happened. <laughs> bro, so that's, a motherfucker that's deleted happened. your Instagram. Yeah, I got iced. Bro, she Damn. deleted my shit. Trying to be a player. Yeah. She deleted my shit at the top of tour, but but, but before tour, I was already at like twenty some thousand followers. Damn. You feel me? This was before tour. Now that's scandalous. No, she kept it so, for show. Sure everything scandalous. So then. I'm like, damn, I'm like, man, he just fucked up my whole shit. But I ain't, I'm like, fuck it. I just bust a new one, came new. And I was like, you know, but at the same time, it's it's kind of different now where I'm at. Like, that was in the beginning of, uh, that was 2016. But right now, it's it's way kind of different because, you know, I didn't went through the whole phases, all the bullshit and all that and this and that. and. I'm like, man, that's you know, that shit ain't even worth it. But at the at the same time, it's like, this what you gotta do. Yeah, you know what I'm like saying. But rapping. do you feel like you gotta be in the strip club, humping on bitches and doing all the whole little <laughs> shit? I'm just asking, like, how nah, your bitch nah, feel about yeah, that? Nah, shit. You, you gotta, you, you definitely gotta come out and do a look here and there. But I ain't saying you gotta, you gotta, you know. And so that's your look. <laughs> you well, that's your look too, humping on bitches the strip club. I ain't humping on shit. I'm chilling. Nah, you you definitely right got, def got to, you def got to come out and do a look for sure. You got to do your little look. I ain't, I ain't saying that you know to tap in on nothing. If but, you're doing your promo run, yeah, you got to go you places. Gotta, man. Yeah, you got to tap in. But you got to stay away from Puerto Ricans, though, y'all. Y'all watch it. But you know, a lot of motherfucking rappers, they, you know, I feel like rappers are genius. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. I, also, I feel like kind of. It's WWE. Sometimes you make up this character in your head. You know what I'm saying? You go rap about it. You do all the little shit because obviously you're not doing none of that shit. Like, you make up this character in your head and then some motherfuckers just really, like, start believing they that person and go home with the shit. You know what I'm saying? And then they don't know how to, like, like balance family, you know what I'm saying? And the rapper shit, they just never turn it off. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying I feel like these niggas just, like, missing the whole point. You feel me? Nah, yeah, uh, I be, I gotta turn that shit off sometimes, you know, cause, uh, I got two youths, you know, and like, me, they both with their mamas and all that now, but it's like, you know, at some point it's like, damn, I could get caught up and just be straight rapper mode and yeah. be like, damn, like, let me hit this nigga, like, man, I ain't talked to my nigga in a few days or something, like, yeah. you know, it, it do get like that, but at the same time, it can't stay like that. It gotta, you know, you gotta find time to, to really like, tap in, cause you know, like I'm, I try to be there as much as I can, you know, outside the bullshit, you know, so I just try to, you know, you gotta try to balance that, find a balance, find some type of common ground, and and try to make that shit work. Cause was your father in your life all your life? No, I think was in the pen. You know what I'm saying, cause I feel like you know it is important for us to have our you know be there for our kids and shit like that because yeah, in the ghetto like i i seen a lot of niggas that didn't have a fathers niggas daddies wasn't around and shit like that niggas leaving them that shit is true like niggas not picking them up you know what i'm saying and that shit do affect a lot of homies that make that me? make the difference how niggas <sighs> turn out too for real like you know what i'm saying you know it, it ain't the overall difference though but it do affect you i think it affects you a that lot with you know location saying? mean everything yeah nah for real because i was with uh some some dude just got smoked in the land. And I was with my son. Like, and we pulled up and I seen him out and he just laid out right here. Like it was fresh. Like fresh, like probably like a minute later. I just seen him out. I'm like, damn. But the little nigga was with me. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, uh, come on, man. I took that nigga straight back home. Left him there. Like, man, 
Yeah, it's over with. Yeah, that shit kind of um, some of the situations that happen in the land, man, kind of traumatize a nigga to where I feel like you know what I'm saying death, death really don't bother me. You know what I'm saying, and and it's kind of like, damn, am I supposed to be dropping a tear right now? Like, yeah, right, nigga, numb to it for sure. Like, nigga, numb to it for sure. That shit definitely made me numb to a whole bunch of shit, and that shit really did make a nigga like even like worse. You feel me? Like, just really not giving a fuck being over there. Yeah, I yeah. try to stay from over there now. Try to do your thing and elevate. Yeah. That's because that's the goal for sure. Hell yeah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tell them what you got dropping, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got new coming up, what you got what you got going? Uh, shit, Big Moon out right now. Go tap in on that, Big Moon. Uh, I got a project produced by Rock Marciano and Me Fucks. We dropping that probably uh, end of this month, the end of this month or probably mid-February or something. Uh, that's going crazy. I got crazy features on it. My boy Crime Apple on there. My boy Conway on there. Uh, who else on there? Uh, my boy Flea on there. Shout out to my nigga Flea. Shout out to the whole Lord Mob and all that. You feel me? That's my East Coast fam. Uh, and then I got a whole another project coming with 211. Mm, that's fine. You feel me? Yeah. I think that's big what we got going on too. Cause like, you know, he a blood, you know? And uh, I'm a crip, so it's like it's kind of like dope to see that. Two used and, to be and, crazy too. And this, oh, and yeah. this our this our second installment. It's called Scandalous Levels. This this part two to that. So we had already we been pushing like that, and uh, you know that's my boy. But uh, we got that dropping shit sometime this month too. So yeah, we finna be going crazy. Yeah, man. So y'all tap into my boy TF, you know what I'm saying? YouTube, Instagram. Make sure y'all follow my boy on everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All platforms. Do the thing, man. Make sure y'all tap in, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's unappreciated. Grammy nominated, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We want to throw that yeah. in there, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing his work, been doing his thing in Los Angeles, California. So make sure all DJs, all radio DJs, y'all tap yeah, into tap my in, boy. Man. You feel me right now? You hear what I mean? But we up out of here, you feel me? Deleon. Deleon. Yeah.